Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 Icon Player Review. Today, we're going to be looking at the 86-rated lowest version of Andrei Shevchenko. So, the Ukrainian striker is is 86-rated, like I said. But he's actually got some extremely impressive stats for a player of this rating. 88 pace, 85 dribbling, and 90 shooting. That's pretty mad. He's also six foot tall with the high, high work rates, right footed with three star skill moves and a four star weak foot. So moving on in to a couple of different squad options for you guys to use this player in. The first one is a nice mix between the Bundesliga and the Premier League. We have fellow Ukrainian Yarmolenko on the right hand side and then just a nice strong team around them too. Uh, and then this is the squad that I actually used the main man in. More suited for a, a decent looking icon in nearly what is a full icon team. This is my super squad featuring the likes of Hullet and Ronaldinho. So moving on in to the in-game stats for a player like this, I was actually kind of expecting some really good things because after looking at those on-item stats themselves, uh, they just look amazing. And I've got to say, even on basic chemistry style, Shevchenko does look like a complete and utter boss. Uh, I've decided today to use him with the engine chem style just because I noticed that his agility and balance were a little bit lower and obviously boosting the pace and dribbling is, is a good thing. Uh, I was already comfortable with using him with his current 90 shooting. You know, that includes the likes of 91 finishing. So those are the in-game stats. We can now move on into the clips. And I scored a whole bunch of goals with Shevchenko today. Uh, and I didn't really often miss that many shots with him. It was the teammates around him that were the ones that were missing shots. Get the ball to Shevchenko and he'll find the back of the net. That is for sure. Um, so, But there are a couple of negatives. We do need to talk negatives right now. Firstly... His stamina is in the mid-70s. What that's going to mean is that I, I found to get the most out of this guy uh, early in... It, well, just in the first half and early in the second half. He could still score later on in the game. And, and, you know, there you go. There's a, there a great uh, example in the 88th minute. But they're not necessarily going to be those sprinting through types of shots. It's just going to be one-twos receiving it and absolutely unleashing a long shot. He's going to lose a little bit of that pace and stuff late on in the game. His skill moves as well are another point that you guys should know about. Only three star. Uh, there are many icons out there which have the four star skill moves as a striker, which is very useful. Um, but Shevchenko doesn't have it. Uh, and then, of course, his strength. I, I, For some reason, I always see Shevchenko as quite a strong striker. Uh, but he really isn't. This particular version, anyway, feels very weak uh, and actually got out-muscled quite a few times. However, those are the minor negatives. And I've got to say they are minor because... Like, Shevchenko was a beast. Uh, he, he was an extremely prolific goal scorer. I had a lot of high-scoring games when I was playing this uh, in this uh, little session with the main man. And I've got to say, like even goals are going in against Peter Schmeichel, as you can see. Um, he, he was just generally doing the business and actually winning me games. Uh, firstly, his pace. This is a very quick version of Andrei Shevchenko. Uh, he has has the decent pace stat on his item itself, and I've got to say, even with you know we've, we boosted him with the engine chem style, that's going to help you out a little bit. And yeah, like acceleration and sprint speed both feel extremely solid. Gets up to speed nicely. Um, he's also very well positioned. I, he, he likes to make that run through. And if he does the little one-two, a great example on screen right now. He just sort of is in the good spot, you know, right place, right time to receive it. He's going to play that little one-two ball. Again, he started making the run early with that particular um, clip that I'm showing you there. Like He, he genuinely is a very well positioned player. Uh, and he can kind of act as a target man. Even though he doesn't have great strength to, to win the physical battles, what he does have is a decent amount of height. He's six foot tall um, and good aerial ability. You know, his heading accuracy and jumping stuff seem pretty good. And I was able to either receive the ball and, and flick it onto a winger uh, or, you know, just win it from a, from a corner and that sort of thing. Win it from the goal kicks. Uh, yeah, good in the air and a decent target man, I must say, even though he doesn't possess the most strength. His shot power, his long shots, and general composure in front of goal uh, just make up the final positives here today. Really, really powerful shooting from the Ukrainian striker. He, uh, like I keep saying, found the back of the net multiple times. That's a perfect run and a beautiful volley, by the way. Just probably the best goal that I scored in today. I saved the best till last, of course. Uh, yeah, just like... 
general long shots from outside the box. As you can see, his volley stat is pretty decent because he scored that lovely goal. His finishing stat is great. And overall composure in front of goal uh, is, is fantastic. And that leads to one extremely clinical striker. So there you have it, guys. That is my very positive review on the 86-rated baby Shevchenko. I'm really excited to use some other versions of Shevchenko along the way to see if they can even live up to the standards of this 86 rated version. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you next time. Peace.